What's going on you guys? Theo here with the big review back yet again with another King of Fighters All-Star video and I'm just jumping straight into this because I am literally the embodiment of hype right now. So for those of you who are living under a rock, late last night Netmarble finally got around to releasing a teaser trailer that we have all been waiting for for the King of Fighters All-Star for the Boss Syndrome Volume 2 banner and my god does it look awesome. Everything that we had predicted and hoped for has come to fruition. I'm going to break it all down and give you guys my thoughts on everything. But before we do all that, smash that like button and subscribe. So let's go ahead and dive straight into this. Because no hyperbole, guys, no BS. This is probably the most hype for a banner I have ever been in this game, period. And a lot of it has to do with the fact that if you guys have not been with the channel for very long, if you remember back in January, I did a video and it was five characters I wanted to see added into the King of Fighters All-Star the most in 2021. And Nightmare Geese was extremely high up on that list. Reason being is Geese Howard is my favorite SNK boss, period. End of story. That is, I'm a huge Fatal Fury fan. Geese Howard, therefore, is my favorite boss, easily. And the fact that they are adding in this iteration of Geese Howard, and he looks this clean and this good, I could not be more excited. And Chrysalid, he looks awesome as well. Don't want to take any of his shine away, especially since I know there are a ton of Chrysalid fans out there, and in particular, a ton of fans of his coded look for whatever reason. But man, these two characters look good, and it's crazy how they were able to pack so much hype into a 29 second long trailer. It, it, it's very surprising, especially when you consider the fact that really all we're seeing in this trailer is more than likely just their character animations on the main screen. <laughs> That's about all you're seeing here. There's no gameplay whatsoever. But man, that just goes to show how hype these types of releases can be, and it really does kind of differentiate itself big time from what you see with some of these collaborations, because like for instance with the Seven Deadly Sins collab, there was nothing but anger and resentment towards that stuff, and with this, you see the power of the King of Fighters characters versus some of these other IPs coming in. I mean, like I've always said, this is the King of Fighters All-Star. This isn't, you know, random IP or collaboration All-Star. This is the King of Fighters All-Star. So when you see these types of things added in and you see the amount of hype that surrounds them, it really shouldn't surprise you. But what do we get from this trailer? Because there's actually quite a bit that we can glean from this. So kind of right off the bat, we were 100% correct on our assumptions on which versions of these characters we would be seeing. So obviously the coded version of Chrysalid and Nightmare Geese were what we expected. But what do we expect? What can we glean from this trailer? Well, first and foremost, and I'm going to walk you through this as we go, I do have reason to believe that Nightmare Geese is going to be a purple unit and Chrysalid is going to be a yellow unit. And the reason being is pay attention to the glow on these characters' names on their character cards because that is going to come up throughout this video. But we've known that Nightmare Geese has been in the files from Data Mines for a very long time. And this is part of the reason why I felt like he had the best chance if there was going to be a boss syndrome version of Geese added in. And that looks like that is exactly what we're going to be getting. This character model has been in the game data for a long time, so expect it to be updated. But Chrysalid, we have known that he is probably going to be a playable character for a while, just based solely upon the fact that he has been a non-playable boss for quite a bit of time now. And do pay attention here, as I pointed out with the purple glow around Geese's name, I believe that this boss syndrome Chrysalid is also going to be a yellow unit based around that glow around his name. And we have a reference for that that would make me believe that that'll be coming up here but this is going to be the character model for chrysalid here and i do get the feeling that chrysalid just based upon what we've seen in this trailer there's a good chance that he is going to be burn based and geese is going to be darkness based I don't think that the darkness for Geese Howard for the Nightmare version of him should come as a surprise, but some people may or may not be surprised that Chrysalid might have burn. However, I think it's pretty obvious when you really take a look at him as a character, it makes sense. So as far as their typing goes, right? So take a look at this. This is going to be from the original trailer for the first two Boss Syndrome characters. And you'll notice that Boss Syndrome Orochi's name has that greenish font to it. And then if you take a look at Omega Ru 
Google, his is blue. Well, what do we know? We know that Orochi was a green unit and that Omega Rugal was a blue unit. So I think that this is them tipping us off that these characters are going to be these specific color iterations for their typing. Of course, there's no way of telling what type that they will be beyond that, whether they're an attack, a defense, or a balance-based unit. I get the feeling, and this is just me kind of speculating, but I really do feel as though Nightmare Geese is more than likely going to end up being an attack type, and then Chrysalid will be a defense type. So a purple attack type and a yellow defensive type are what I'm predicting. I could be completely wrong on this, but I do feel like there is that potential, mainly because with Geese, I feel like just his overall aesthetic and his play style, he should be an attack type. He really just should be a pure DPS damage dealer, almost akin to Omega Rugal, Boss Syndrome Omega Rugal, that is, where he is just a nuke, and I feel like that fits him the most. Now, as far as Chrysalid goes, the yellow defensive typing that I am predicting for him is based solely around the fact that I do feel like he is going to be a little bit more of a tankier version of a boss syndrome character, and he is still going to have great damage, don't get me wrong, but I think that he is going to be a yellow defense with burn for his dot. So, again, I could be completely wrong on this, but I have, I've had developed a bit of a track record for this stuff, so hit or miss sometimes but in this case i'm feeling pretty confident overall guys but i'm very curious to get your guys' thoughts on this let me know in the comment section down below what you think about the typings on these characters but i really do think that nightmare geese having darkness is a complete lock i don't really see any way that that's not going to be the case and then as far as chrysalid goes i could see it going any number of ways i could see him maybe having bleed i could maybe see him having dark or not darkness but some people are predicting starlight i really don't see that i don't think that necessarily fits him whatsoever but i could definitely see him having burn i think burn makes the most sense for him as a character so if he's going to have a dot i do get the feeling that he is going to be burn based but the only thing that would kind of keep me from making that 100% prediction the way i would with nightmare geese where i feel like it's a lock it's the fact that we get so many burn characters and these other dots feel like they get largely forgotten about a lot of the time. So we'll have to wait and see. I, I'm just not sure if they're going to go that route with him, but I, I definitely get the feeling just based upon what we're seeing in this trailer that that is going to be the case. So if you guys can't tell, I am hype. I am definitely going to be pulling for these characters. You know, all those rubies that you guys give me trouble about in the comment section saying that I'm a whale or that you're jealous or whatever the case may be. Well, get ready, boys, because they're about to go bye bye. I'm trading them in for a nightmare geese and I don't even care. So <laughs> it's going to be one of those things where, you know, I know that I've been kind of thinking and hoping and praying for really since I downloaded the game that I would eventually be getting my Fest King. And then with the SS banner coming out, I predicted that there's pro a good chance that I'm going to be seeing an SS King added into the game with the next batch of SS characters. And I've been kind of saving for that. Well, guess what? No matter what happens at this point, I'm A5-ing this geese. So get ready for that, guys. I'm super excited. Next thing that we are going to do is we are going to do a small summoning session because I need to get some of this energy out. So let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, you guys. So we, again, have a bunch of tickets here. So we're going to go ahead and trade these in, see if we can come up with some extra memories. But yeah, guys, so overall, at the end of the day, with everything that's going on in the game right now, I know that with the Seven Deadly Sins collaboration event, there was a lot of turmoil, a lot of issues, a lot of heart heartache. And it, at this point, I think that that's all a distant memory. I think that pretty much everybody that I have seen has been either really really hype for what we're about to get or they're at least kind of at the point where they're like all right this is pretty cool so i don't really hear anybody complaining as we get a fest card and of course it's akane for those of you who track the channel and watch every video and watch these summon sessions in particular you will know that akane she's bay and we uh <laughs> we just can't stop pulling this card i swear uh akane cards i get so many of them i swear she is like stalking me at this point are we gonna get another akane card here no okay good 
because I don't want another Akane card <laughs> at this point. At this point, I'm really just looking for Serena set cards. I am one card away from having another Serena set, which I am probably just going to have to get with the pity since I think that I'm basically like five or six single summons on the card banner away from going to pity and i'm missing one card for the second set for serena so that'll be good for my guild raid game but oh look at that we're getting a fess all right well who we're we gonna get at this point it's a memory anyway so all right well it's terry which uh it's been a while we used to pull terry's all the time i mean constantly we would get terry's hold on did I just pull the entire Fatal Fury team back to back to back? Is this real life? Terry, Andy, and Joe. And Mai. What is going on? <laughs> what, what are the odds of that happening? Somebody who's better at math than me in the comment section, can you do the odds on... Are we getting another Fess? Nice. Why is it always the first one? You guys ever notice that about my polls? It's always the first one, as we get an Elizabeth here, but it's always the first one that's a fess. That is really bizarre. I mean, I'm gonna take it. I'm, I'm happy again. I'm just doing this for the memories and the soul dust at this point, but still, good Lord. But yeah, guys, so overall, what was my game plan with these boss syndrome characters? Well, I'm definitely planning on pulling for these characters on release day, and there will be a stream I summon battle on, I believe, Saturday. I'm waiting to get the full details from Gunny, but I will be doing a summon battle defending my crown after winning the last summoning battle with the rest of the YouTubers. Look forward to that. Of course, I will bring you guys the details when I have those. But that's going to be today's video, guys. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this boss syndrome teaser. If you're hype, let me know. Like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.